what is the point of singing? Isn't music supposed to be beautiful? But why is there experimental music? Hello everybody, my name is Moses Toto from Tim Tenner and you're welcome to another episode of Classical Experience. Stay tuned. <music> Isn't classical music meant to be beautiful? People want to listen to classical music because it has a soothing feel and is beautiful in the end. So in classical singing, there is a style of singing called the bel canto singing. It literally means beautiful singing and it's Italian. It's been there from Baroque times till now as we know. Phrasing in classical music is everything. Basically, what phrasing means is how you shape music from the beginning to the end. The music is written by the composer by straight notes and dynamics, but how the singer or the instrumentalist presents the piece of music written on the paper. That's phrasing. Simple. There's a standard for emotions, so we can have a person crying silently like this. Some people also show sorrow by doing this kind of crying. <laughs> they are all crying but in the end one is different from the other. So what differentiates one person's presentation of a music from another singer's presentation of a music is what we call phrasing. So singers or instrumentalists try to use dynamics, ornamentations and articulations to shape their music and have a unique presentation or phrasing. Basically that's it. It's like going to an award show. There is a standard that everybody has to wear a very beautiful dress at the red carpet. But you don't expect two people to wear the same gown to the red carpet or else you'll not be unique. You have to be unique. But you don't have to cross over <laughs> the standard or come below it. There is a standard but you have to play around that standard. As I said, people cry like this and also some people cry like this. So you have to be unique in your presentation. That's what makes you stand out as an artist and as a musician. So today, we'll be looking at some techniques that are used in the bel canto style of singing that you can incorporate into your everyday singing to make it beautiful as the name suggests, bel canto. First of all, we'll be looking at the chest voice. The chest voice is the part of the voice that is very resonant and it's in the lower part of the voice most of the time. And in this part of the voice, the voice is bigger and more robust. We have the head voice. The head voice is much more lighter than the chest voice. It's just above the chest voice. And in that part, sometimes, you know, it's big, but not all the time. We have the mixed voice. As the name suggests, it's just between the chest voice and the head voice. So you can feel that there's a little bit weight in it, but it's somehow also lighter. That's the mixed voice. We have the falsetto. The falsetto is a technique that the countertenders usually use in their singing when they are singing above their chest voice. That's what makes them sound like a soprano or an alto, basically. We have the coloratura. So coloratura is basically what we call the running notes. So there are successions of notes that climbs up and down in all manner of directions and it's, it's fun. It's fun to listen to, I know. We have the vibrato. So the vibrato is a movement of a single pitch to add more emotions to a phrase or a song, whatever you want to do it. Sometimes it's instrumentalists also use this like wind instruments and string instruments. They use vibrato to add more emotions to a particular phrase. We have the portamento. So the portamento is when you slide from a lower note 
to jump onto a higher note. It's when you want to jump immediately to a higher note, but you want some help. So you start from a lower note, and immediately shoot to the highest note. <laughs> We have the legato. So the legato is when you connect all notes in a phrase to, to make it sound even. That the consonant doesn't divide the phrase, but it sounds even as if you are connecting all the vowels in the phrase. Then the opposite of the legato is the staccato. So the staccato is basically detaching the note single by single, unlike the legato. <laughs> Remember, always hydrate. We have the trill. So the trill is more like a fast vibrato where you alternate between two notes. It could be a semitone above or a whole tone above. And you alternate between the notes, adding more dramatic effects to a note or a phrase. We have the mezza di voce. So the mezza di voce is when you gradually start on a note at a very low volume, then you gradually crescent or increase the volume, then it comes back down. All this is happening on a single note. So it's like a greater than then a less than at the same time yeah so remember it happens on the same note it increases then it decreases all this is to add dramatic effects to a note or a beginning of a song middle ending wherever and then we have the dynamic singing we have the piano singing Piano singing is when you sing very soft to portray a particular, you know, emotion or whatever you want to do. Then we have the fortissimo or the forte, which is opposite of piano, where you sing very loud or louder. Then we have the crescendo, okay, and the diminuendo. So this is like in the mesa di voce, but they are individual on their own. So you gradually increase the volume of uh, a phrase or a note or whatever. And the diminuendo or the decrescendo is when you decrease the volume gradually. Remember, gradually. Then we have the rubato. The rubato is very common in the Romantic era, where you alternate a tempo of you know a song to add more dramatic effect to it to portray an emotion so you just go and go and come changing the tempo of the song the orchestra will follow you And obviously, there are a lot of high notes in this bel canto way of singing, so the singer can explore into the stratosphere of the voice. Then, you know, high notes. High notes. High notes. Then, the last one we'll be looking at today is the cadenza. So the cadenza is a form of improvisation okay, at the end of a piece. So the singer is left to explore whilst the orchestra is on hold waiting for him to finish. Because as I said, you're the boss. The singer explores and tries to invent ways, adding ornamentations, dynamics, articulations, whatever the singer can do at that particular time or the instrumentalist. Pardon.
remember it's not only for singers but instrumentalists can also do this then they finish it a high note low note whatever they feel like because the boss you know all right i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you subscribe to my channel Tintena, and also my facebook page like it and also follow it and click on that notification button so that you don't miss any content that comes your way until the next video see you again bye bye